All right, so I'm making a, a quick little video here. Um, I don't have anyone to videotape it or video it for me, so uh, we'll see how this works. Sorry for that. There's one of the chips I was talking about right there. And uh, I mean, it's pretty clean. There's, a, there's another chip on that side, probably where the hood was hitting. Um, the motor is pretty clean, as you can see there. Um, doesn't seem to be any oil leaks or anything like that. Uh, it does have the wipers do work and everything. Um, here's the intake. You can uh, see some of the seals down in there. Um, it's not a not too much to see. It's, the belts are they look great. It looks like it could use a little bit of cleanup, uh, wiping things down maybe. Um, but the block looks to be uh, pretty dry and free of any oil. Uh, here's uh, the HEI distributor. Looks like vacuum made advance. A double pumper carb. There's the blower housing. I don't haven't tested it to see if it works. It has a good interstate battery in it. And let's see. Just a small fan, but it seems to do the job and everything. And a more so overflow. Uh, pretty pretty simple and basic. Uh, there's a, a pressure gauge for the fuel. Uh, See, I'll walk around the truck real quick, give you a good uh, view of everything. The front tires, I did uh, notice that this front right tire uh, seems to be like it has maybe a small pinhole or something in it. Um, let's see, I have a car right behind me, that's why I'm so close. <laughs> Here's the the fuel door. I mean, the paint seems to be pretty pretty nice. It's, uh, it's always been garage, so here's here's the back tires. The the weld rims are in good condition. Um, yeah, let's see if I can. So there's not much tread on there. It's I would say there's like seventy percent or so on there. There's the bed. It's like a a brush on uh, like Linex or something. Let's see. So. I have not started this truck for a couple days, so I'll show you how how it is. Um, here's the the door panel. It's in really good shape, besides that there and that hole there. And you can see there um, where it was painted. Uh, and then there's no uh, there's no lip here that you're asking about for rust um, but here's uh, the interior we have the bucket seats here and then oh, let me grab this here behind here it's in it's really nice it's clean uh, it looks like he did a good job putting the putting the carpet in you this real quick down here it looks like I don't know if there's supposed to be a piece right there um, right along there but it looks the same on the other side it does they are uh, there are new seat belts in here here's uh, 
the tack I was talking about. Here's a BMM shifter. Uh, here's the gauges. It's a, there's a car, carpet. <laughs> Never made a video for somebody to show, but the here's the glove box. Everything registration tire forms it looks like some sort of spring there's no stereo there's the switches for the fan the heater if you end up deciding to do that there's the mirror and here's the roof it's, it's pretty clean it's not perfect or anything but I, I noticed that there's a there's some spots right here. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. You can see it. I don't. Uh, it must have been adhesive or something from the liner that was up there. That would be my guess. There's no visors. The window tent's pretty nice. There's a scuff right there. That's the only scuff that I can see from uh, rolling. This from this panel or something's weird because that's this panel is this door is the one that squeaks or something when it's started or when it's driving when you're driving. So let's see. Here I'm putting the key in the ignition. By the way, I don't know if you can see me, but I'm Dan. Hello. Um. So I just one pump. Oh, turn the key over. One pump. So it died. Let's try this again. <laughs> 